The following is an initiation lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on September 4, 1969, in Hamburg, Germany. Abhavitra Pavitra Va. One may be in impure condition and one may be in pure condition. Sarvavasthan, in all conditions. Avastha means all condition. Gatopiva, situated. In any condition situated, ja, anybody smaret, remembers, Pundari Kakhang. Pundari Kakhang means the Lord whose eyes are like the lotus petal, lotus eye. Pundari Kakhang, so that person uh, becomes. So, bhāyya bhantraṁ. Bhāyya means externally and abhantraṁ means internally. Bhāyya bhantraṁ suci. Suci means purified. Another suci means uh, brahmin. A brahmin is called suci. A brahmin means a purified person. Not that by birth one becomes pure. No. The purificatory process, there are purificatory processes, uh, just like in infectious condition, those who are vaccinated, given injection, he is supposed to be purified. He cannot be attacked or infected by the disease. Similarly, in spiritual life also, one has to remain purified. The whole process, this Krishna consciousness movement is to purify the people in general from the contaminated condition of material existence. Purifying. It is purifying process. A living entity by nature is pure because he is part and parcel of the supreme pure God. But due to the impure condition he has forgotten his eternal relationship with God. So this initiation means that one is being accepted as student by the spiritual master to promote him gradually to the purified state where he can realize himself and God. This is the whole process. In contaminated state we cannot uh, approach. I have given this example many times. Just like if you want to enter into certain uh, um, place, then you must be adjusted with the conditions. Just like people are going to the moon planet. Uh, there it is supposed to be, it is very cold. So people go with a certain type of dress by adjusting. Uh, similarly, if you want to enter into the spiritual kingdom, the abode, the, uh, the planet where Krishna lives, so you must be purified, adjust yourself, not only to the spiritual kingdom of Krishna, any planet you want to enter, you must adjust yourself in that. Uh, it is stated in the Bhagavad-gītā, Jyanti Deva Brata Devan Pitrin Jyanti Pitri Brataha Bhuteja Jyanti Bhutani Vajjarino Pi Jyanti Ma. If you adjust yourself, then you can go to the higher planetary system. Deva Brata Devan. Devan means the planetary system or the different planets where demigods are living. It's like this moon planet. This moon planet is also another planet of the demigod Chandra. I do not know the modern uh, expedition for going to the moon planet, how far it will be successful. Uh, I think it, it cannot be successful. According to basic literature, it cannot be successful because people cannot adjust uh, to enter that planet. One has to adjust make the bodily condition uh, in that way so that one can live there. Uh, 
And in this planet also, because there are different climates. And in India, the climate is different. And in your Western country, the climate is different. So when one comes to the Western country, he also adjusts with different courts and sarts. In India, we can remain naked body practically throughout the whole year, but you cannot live here. So there is adjustment. So this adjustment, the Bhagavad Gita says, Madhyaji no pi ma, janti ma. Those who are uh, adjusted uh, themselves to come to me, uh, he can come. There is no uh, obstacle. So this initiation process, this Krishna consciousness means to adjust your condition so that after leaving this body you can enter into the planet where Krishna lives. These things are very nicely explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Jadgatyana nivartanti tadhyama paramangamama. That uh, supreme award uh, where entering one does not come back again uh, to this material world, that is my uh, supreme award. Uh, there is nadatra uh, bhāsayati sūrja nasasāṅka nabhāvaka yadgatyānaṇ vartanti tadhyāma paramaṅgo. This is that explain. In that spiritual kingdom there is no need of sun sign, there is no need of moon sign, there is no need of electricity. And one who goes there, he does not come back, he lives there eternally, blissful, life of knowledge. So this initiation process means to give the conditioned soul a chance. Uh, this chance can be available in this human form of life. The cats and dogs, they cannot take chance of entering into the spiritual kingdom. Or they cannot, it is not possible, they can take initiation for purifying uh, the body. So everybody, every human being should take advantage of this form of life, human form of life, and cultivate uh, this Krishna consciousness uh, and it is very simple and easy also. For this says, uh, Lord, by the grace of Lord Chaitanya, uh, we have got very easy method, simply chant Hare Krishna. Uh, this mantra also which we uttered just now, it is said, just mare kundari kākham. Anyone who remembers kundari kākham, Hare, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, immediately he becomes purified, suchi. Suchi, suchi means purified. Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu. Three times. So the Krishna and Vishnu is the same thing. Krishna is the original uh, person of all Vishnu tattva. So mm. anyone who is keeping himself always in touch with the vibration, of uh, Krishna consciousness, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram. That is the only, I mean, it's a guaranteed platform where you can keep yourself purified without any material contamination. And in this purified state, if we can leave this body ultimately, then there is no doubt we enter into the uh, supreme abode of the personality of God. These, these things are very nicely explained in the Bhagavad Gita, and you read carefully. This initiation does not mean, of course, this chanting will save you, only chant. But if you read some literatures also, and uh, the philosophy also, then, then, then it will be more and more convincing that you are uh, making progress. And in the ninth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, you will find uh, that this is the process by which you can understand practically whether you are making actually progresses in spiritual life. Pratyakham avagabham dharmam. This uh, bhakti yoga system is so nice 
that one can directly understand how he is making progress. And very quickly, that's a fact. Uh, all our students who have taken to this process, uh, within very short time they are realizing that actually they are making some progress, therefore they are sticking to the principles and going on. So my request to you all who are going to be initiated that you keep always yourself in contact with this chanting and that will make you, I mean say, able to be always purified, suci, material contamination cannot, and you avoid these four principles, illicit sex life, meat eating, intoxication of all description. Intoxication does not mean simply liquor. Intoxication means even tea drinking. Uh, tea is also intoxication in slight degree. Uh, uh, tea, coffee, uh, cigarette, uh, everything should be avoided. Uh, in India they chew pan, so these things have to be uh, given up. Intoxication group and uh, meat eating group. Then he will make a very quickly progress and by the grace of Krishna, takta de hangapunar janmanaiti mami tikantya, after leaving this body, one hasn't got to take another material body and suffer. So long we have got this material body, we have to suffer the material pains. There cannot be any adjustment. So, if anyone is serious for ending all troubles, uh, everyone wants to live peacefully and happily. That is natural. Because spirit soul is anandamaya vyasa by nature joyful. He wants to keep himself joyful. But he does not know how eternal joyful life can be attained. Uh, that is spiritual life. You cannot become joyful by material adjustment, no. You may be joyful for the time being by drinking or by intoxication, but how long? So long the intoxication influence is there, you may feel something that is artificially, but that is not actually the state of joyfulness. The real state of joyfulness is to be situated in spiritual life and I know actually uh, in the spiritual kingdom, then you uh, become Satchidananda uh, Vigraha, eternal life, joyful life, blissful life, uh, with full knowledge. So, um, on behalf of Krishna, we are trying to distribute this knowledge, uh, at least in this part of the world. Now, those who are fortunate, they will take it and be benefited. Our business is to distribute. Now it is up to you. Every individual soul is independent. He may accept or may not accept. That depends on him. But if he accepts, it is good for him. Otherwise he may make his choice. Krishna never, God never interferes with your independence. No, he will never do that. Then what is the meaning of living being? The dull matter, it has no independence. Even if it is a big mountain or big thing, it has no independence. It is standstill. But a small ant in a micro, oh, it has got independence because it is living creature. So God has made, made you or given you little independence. That independence does not mean that you shall misuse it. You shall use it properly. And what is that proper use to be engaged in, in his loving service? Just like uh, you citizens of this German state, what you are meant for, you are meant for uh, rendering service to the state. Similarly, 
we hold this this is a small step america is a small state this planet is a small state but there is a huge step uh, which is called the cosmic manifestation that state belongs to krishna or god so naturally you have to render service to the supreme state supreme will then it is all right your independence is there so long you are rendering service to the state properly your independence as citizen is there but as soon as you rebel against the state your independence is gone similarly our this condition life is due to our rebellious condition towards god and as soon as we agree surrender and uh, be one with him by transcendental loving service uh, the whole thing uh, becomes adjusted the krishna consciousness movement means to teach people and to give them practical suggestion and help to come to that stage those who are fortunate they will take advantage of it otherwise who is all of course one canvassing for this business yes. Sorry. Yes.